It's just been reported that Tesla once again ranks first in brand loyalty, and it's not really a close race. A few months ago, Tesla took the title from Ford, and that was based on one publication. However, now multiple publications have confirmed that based on their research, Tesla is so far ahead in brand loyalty rankings compared to the rest of the industry that, um, well, it should be a bit of a concern, I think, for its competitors. How do you get those customers back from Tesla? Can you? Maybe not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Thailand. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have every single one of you, and a big thank you to our Patreon supporters as well. If you'd like to be a Patreon of the channel, that'd be amazing. I'll put a link in the description below. Tesla's brand loyalty is, it's hard to comprehend. Now, yes, there are some people who buy Tesla and they say, well, not the car for me. That happens. Now, if the reason you sold your Tesla or you want to sell your Tesla or maybe you're thinking about it is because you don't have a screen right in front of the driver. A lot of people have said this, they want a screen right in front of them. You can get them as an aftermarket accessory. A lot of companies will install those for you. So you can do that if you want to. Just a little suggestion there. Back in February of this year, Tesla stole the customer loyalty crown from Ford. This research was based on S&P Global Mobility's Automotive Loyalty Awards. In fact, Tesla captured five awards in the manufacture and make loyalty category, including overall loyalty to make, market loyalty to make, most improved make loyalty, highest conquest percentage, and alternative powertrain loyalty to make with the latter two being repeat awards for the company. S&P Global Mobility said that Tesla's make loyalty rate was 67.2%, where General Motors, who retained its crown for overall loyalty to manufacturer for the eighth consecutive year, coming in at 65%. But the industry average is significantly lower. Now, some people said, oh, you know, is this true? Um, how can we believe this? Is uh, This doesn't stack up. I don't agree with this. However, now we've just found out that another publication, in fact, City, have said, well, actually, we've done our own research, and yeah, actually, it's correct. In fact, the gap has widened, if anything. Tesla leads the industry by a wide margin when it comes to brand loyalty. With increasing amount of competition within the automotive segment, this is tough. Brands often go on about and they say, well, you know, our customers are more loyal than us, or getting conquest sales is what we aim to do. But the thing is here, if you're being disrupted, it's hard to get conquest sales at the same time. I mean, for example, research shows that the car brands most buyers come from when they buy a Tesla are actually Toyota and Honda. So it's going to be hard for Toyota and Honda to get people back from alternative manufacturers, whether that be buying a General Motors EV or buying whatever EV it is, or a Tesla EV. It's going to be hard for them to get them back because they don't have any EVs. Now, they're talking about them a lot. They do a lot of talking about EVs. They don't actually have any, though. They have one EV, which is considered substandard. I mean, every reviewer said it's not great. The wheels won't stay on, according to Toyota themselves. Apparently, they will now, though. They've learned how to tighten up properly or something like that. But my point here is, it's going to be tough when in a few years' time, if Toyota does bring out EVs in a few years' time, if Honda does bring out EVs, it's going to be tough to try and get those buyers back. So the thing is here, Citi's report says that since February, not only has Tesla increased its brand loyalty, but it's actually grown the gap between itself and the competition. As reported by investing.com, the analysis compared by Citi found that Tesla has a brand loyalty rating of just over 67%. That's 20 points higher than the industry average, which is 46%. 46 compared to 67 is enormous. I mean, think about it this way, right? Roll the dice 100 times. If your chances to win are 67%, right? What do you win? What do you get? What are, you, what are your odds there? They're pretty damn good, right? You just roll the dice millions of times and you eventually take everyone's money. What are, you, what are your chances to win if you have a 46% chance? Well, it means that you roll the dice enough times, you're losing customers, right? You roll the dice 100 times, you've lost 4% of your customers or something like that, right? My point here, here is the automotive industry average of 46% shows you that a lot of people are moving away 
from general internal combustion engine vehicles to EVs, and they're not going back. So this means that the industry average, you're more likely to lose a customer rather than gain one unless you sell a very large percentage of EVs. So what's the model of car that has the highest brand loyalty? Well, it's the Tesla Model 3. And the surprising thing here is, I keep hearing these comments, oh, Tesla's, Tesla's um, quality is terrible. I mean, their product doesn't last and there's so many problems with their cars. If this stuff was true, I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You let me know what you think on this. If it was true, I find it difficult to believe that they'd have such high brand loyalty. Why, why do customers keep buying from them? Why do they keep going back? Why do they, why do they want more of their cars at such a massively high percentage than other manufacturers if their cars have so many issues? That's really hard to understand that. I don't think that makes sense. What all this leads me to think here is there's a pretty big problem here for legacy automakers. They're not really making EVs, are they? They keep talking about it, but still, the only legacy automaker that sells more than 10% of their cars that are electric is Mercedes-Benz, which are at about 12% now. 12% is still a very small percentage though, very small. And that's the best. So when will they actually start kicking into gear and start trying to retain customers by giving them the product that they want? I think customers just have a better experience when they own an electric car. And that's probably proven by the fact that in Europe now, long-term research shows that EVs break down significantly less than internal combustion engine vehicles. That's just one of many reasons I think EV brand loyalty, in the case of Tesla in particular, is so incredibly high. Now, I know there's other reasons, but I wanna know from you, what are your reasons, if you own a Tesla, what are your reasons for staying with the brand? Because clearly a very large percentage of you are deciding to do so. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.